I'm joined now by Ericsson Samuel making your debut on Karate Combat. We're really yeah. excited to have you because there's been extra chats, extra um, conversation around mm -hmm. you. You have quite a big presence on the internet and on Instagram. Tell me two things, because it's two separate journeys really. How yeah. did your Insta life begin and how did your fight life begin and how did they marry up? Actually, it was they kind of uh, mi got mixed up because uh, I didn't I didn't do Instagram before I, I did my first fight. So basically the timeline is uh, I did my first amateur MMA fight 2017, mm -hmm. uh, jumping into a fight that I, I haven't, I didn't really train MMA, but I was a martial artist. I, uh, I've been practicing Taekwondo for a long time and you know, I did you, some gym. You've done Taekwondo since you were quite young, yeah. really, weren't you? Yeah, uh, nine years. Um, so I got offered a MMA fight, amateur MMA fight uh, against a top ranked guy in Sweden. And I was like, let's go, let's do it. Um, and I lost. Uh, I tapped out uh, at 58 seconds in the first round. He got me in a rear naked choke. And also I got pretty beat up uh, with, with everything, but especially ground and pound. And then he took the rear naked. So I tapped out. Uh, I got a lot of, like I got a lot of hate uh, because of this. And this was back. For I didn't losing or for tapping out no, or the combination it, it, of everything. Like a combination. Why did why did you accept the fight? You're you're a beginner. You're not even a MMA fighter. Blah blah blah. Did All you feel the, like that fight was a mismatch in the first place? I didn't really know. Like I wasn't. Uh, I didn't know so much about the world of MMA. Uh, I didn't know about the matchmaking. I was just okay. This is a guy that fights. He's a top ranked guy. Let's fight. Whatever. Um, so I lost that fight. I got this huge uh, waves of hate. Um, Welcome to martial arts world online. Yeah, yeah. it's horrible. So this was May, uh, 4th of May, I think, uh, 2017. And 1st of June, I started to, I, I decided to start with Instagram. So I, I- So you got the hate and you decided to yeah, start yeah, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know. It I would just, make most people do the opposite. Yeah, I just felt that I wanted to prove that I was I was a martial artist. Okay, obvious, obviously I got wrecked by a guy in an MMA fight very quickly, but I wasn't. I'm not bad at martial arts. Like I'm a, I'm a. I've been training so much. Uh, I can do a lot of stuff. And of course I was. I had Instagram, but I wasn't really caring about it. But I followed a lot of fitness influencers, uh, martial artists, and and big influencers. So I saw also their lifestyle. Uh, I saw that the martial artists did, they did kicks, spin kicks, uh, they did push-ups, uh, bag work, all of, all of these things I did on a daily basis. So I said, I will try this for six months. Um, and uh, if I'm not making, if I, if I can't pay my rent uh, in six months, I, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, because I understood that beginning with Instagram will not give me money right mm -hmm. away, okay? so. Uh, and it's not even like YouTube because you don't get paid uh, for views. Yeah. So, so it's not even if you get s s you know, low views, you get a small amount of money, you don't get nothing. So I understood that it was, uh, that was the, I dedicated myself to, to these six months. And uh, I just started uploading content of me doing kicks and uh, quite fast it got, you know, big pages, uh, not my pages or, or not like famous famous profiles, more like big Instagram pages, big fitness pages. Uh, they started to repost my content and said, this guy, spin kicks, tornado kicks, jumping high, fast. And you know, the algorithm was a little bit different back then, mm -hmm. I would say. So I could grow, I could grow like 10,000 followers overnight yeah. if a big page shared me. So that was just kept going on for you're being fairly humble there, talking about it just being the page is sharing you. It's also because the phenomenal moves that you do. It's, it's yeah. very clever filming, it's very beautifully done, and it's incredible skill that obviously wasn't seen in that, si in that fight, mm. but was seen when you had that time to sort of show it at home. Yeah. And, and you know, you're incredibly skilled, which is why Thank it's you. shared. Yeah, I think I, I've, I've tried to approach it ex the same way I approached making content back then when I started learning. I have the same approach now. Like uh, I take my iPhone uh, and my tripod, and I just go somewhere. Yeah. Like, what am I doing today? Am I doing something today, or am I doing three videos a day? But it's 99% of the time, it's like me and my tripod and my iPhone. So I think that's also one reason why pages and and people in general uh, likes to follow me because uh, 
obviously they think I'm good at what I do and I also feel I'm good at what I do. Uh, no flex, but, uh, <laughs> flex, <maybe. laughs> flex. But, I, but I also feel that I want to stay relatable um, yeah. in a way. So I have been offered many times uh, from different companies or, or marketing agencies pr to provide. They provide me with a production team. Mm -hmm. We have camera guys, we have editors, we have all these. And I say, maybe not, not now, but maybe in the future, but, but for now, uh, Authenticity I, is pretty... I, I'm, I'm comfortable with my phone. Do you potentially now then look back at that first fight with some level of gratitude for the loss and seeing that that actually opened doors to a journey of proving yourself and a journey of, of starting a whole new business off the back of that loss? Yeah, I mean, without that, I'm not even sure I would have started with Instagram. Probably I would have, but I mean, the, the whole thing made me feel that I'm not going to say that I wanted revenge, but, but I really felt that I, I had to prove that I was not only that guy tapping in 58 seconds. Nice. Uh, and that made me choose Instagram um, because I felt, because sometimes I get the question, why didn't you choose YouTube? You, you would get more, there was money in it from, but I, I just felt that Instagram was a good format because it was very, right away very personal you know people mm -hmm. sit and scroll they see something they like it they share it they comment it YouTube is more of a I would say you need more uh, you need to prep more for the content you need to kind of edit it in a that was my uh, initial thought when I choose Instagram or YouTube Instagram seems more simple easy quick fast uh, so that's why I chose Instagram and of course I'm, I'm, I'm humble and about everything, but I'm also grateful for that fight uh, that it turned out the way it did. So how much do you feel where the balance lies between proving other people wrong and proving to yourself as a martial artist what you're capable of? How, where's that balance for you? It's a hard balance, but I would say uh, I mature in this every, every day. I mean, from the beginning, it was very much uh, to prove to others. Uh, who I was, what I could do, and, and all of that. But today, uh, I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for the loyal audience I, I have built up. So, uh, and I have a very, I don't know how to say, but I have a really loyal audience. So I, I have haters, of course, but I'm not getting so much hate that, it's more, you speed up your videos, you're a shitty fighter, you're a fake fighter. So it, it's hate, but, but it's not like, you know, some influencers really get yeah. the hate, like people want them dead and stuff. Mm. Um, and I just try to, I, I, I never uh, engage in discussions or arguments with, with people not liking me. If they don't say something that I value, that I can bring with me as, as you know, something to learn from. So if someone comes and say, you know, this kick you're doing, it, you know, th they give yeah. me feedback on what I do so I can improve, then of course I will, talk to that person, say thank you, and you know, try to think about w what the feedback is. But if it's just general comments, like you're ugly, you're, you're this, you're that, it's just, uh, I'm not, I don't need to prove anything for them, so. There is something very, um, there's a detachment with social media from you know, being able to make a clip, leave it out there and switch it off if you want to, and there mm -hmm. is a detachment there. There is no detachment in sitting and stepping down into the pit with another human being. There, mm. is, there is another level to, yeah. to fighting. And, and from that humanistic martial arts point of view, um, you don't necessarily need to take it to that level uh, unless you as a core martial artist really wants to. What do you gain from going into fights when you have a business that's successful in its own right? <laughs> I don't really know. No, of course, I know, I, I know what I'm thinking when, I'm, when I chose to fight, but it's, I'm not thinking about the Instagram business uh, so much when it comes to this fight, um, because I try to separate them. Because uh, it's like, if you compare any, if, if a person that has two jobs, like yep. th they can, if they, if, if they are the same, they can maybe kind of try to combine them or, or learn take that from that and you know back but I try to see my Instagram is my business as an influencer um, but to Karate Combat I've signed to be a fighter so I want to be treated as a fighter and I want to be uh, I want to uh, I've done this fight camp as a fighter I've, I've lost over 10 kilos as a fighter 
I'm not, of course I'm sharing it on Instagram, so I'm not like, but, but that's promotion. But I'm not, I'm not mixing the, the business together because if the fight goes well, obviously my, my Instagram can benefit from it. If the fight goes bad, Instagram might not benefit from it the same way. But in the end, I'm going to fight. I'll do my best. I see what happens. Um, and then I go back thinking about content, thinking about all the collaborations, the partnerships and sponsorships that I have only for Instagram. And all my sponsors I have and all my partners are very uh, supportive. They are very, you know, amped up for me to fight. But they also say, we don't care about if you win or lose. We won't, we won't cut you if you lose. Yeah. We won't raise your payments if you, if you win. So this business is my daily life as an influencer, content creator, uh, fighter is, uh, I'm a fighter. I mean, then I, so uh, I, I try to separate them. Here at Karate Combat, we see your dedication. We see that you're a true martial artist. We can see the difference between making a clip online and training and weight cutting and, mm. you know, setting up to fight another human being. This is very different. We see how you train for that. And we know that we've been talking to you for many, like over a year, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> with things it's like this. Been a, it's been a, a long but, time. But a lot of people online haven't seen that, don't see that. We'll be looking at your performance in the pit for that. Do you feel that the Instagram gives us a certain pressure? Yeah, I mean, it's pressure in that sense that uh, people expect to see something uh, that they might see on Instagram, like my tornado kicks, like my spinning kicks, uh, maybe not jumping push-ups. But, <laughs> uh, but people have to remember, and, and I think most of the people do, um, that a fight is always a fight. Y you don't, you train different. Like what I train for on Instagram is my improvement as an athlete, how I can perform in, in any way. Like how I can make uh, stuff that it's impressive, explosive, fast, uh, entertaining, funny, comedy things, all of that. On, on Instagram, I show that side of myself. But in fighting, I can't show that side to myself because then I would probably lose. You have another man in front of you. It's yeah, different. Yeah. yeah, and he wants to fight. So in the fight, I have to fight. So I don't, I don't really, I train as a fighter for this fight. So I'm not doing all these things on Instagram, going into the fight, thinking I can do all that in the fight. So the pressure is, of course, that people might think I will, but I think they quite soon will understand it doesn't work like that. I hope they will understand. Um, you and I both know that when you step in there, Instagram doesn't matter, even your team and all the places that you've trained and all the things that you've done disappear. Essentially, you're in there mm. on your own. What expectations do you have of yourself? Stay calm. Um, stay calm uh, and confident and uh, sticking to a game plan. Um, because my opponent will do the same. He has been training for the same amount of time as I have. We signed the agreement, same time. Um, so he has a game plan for me. And if I try to change things last second, or even during the fight, if I don't have to, or if I try to visualize how I would change if I have to, then it will mess up my, my original game plan. So I will just go in there and stay to the game plan. And if things go sideways, I, I deal with it but staying to the game plan and just be calm. I'm looking forward to watching the fight. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you.